now that you have deployed services into the transition stage successfully, what is next? Well, the fourth stage of the service life cycle is about the service operations. So service operations, what is it? Now the service is already hosted, service is already operational. What, what you, why you need this stage? Well, in this stage, we take care of day-to-day -day operations, day-to-day -day issues, you know, about the incidents, outages, uh, performance issues, complaints by the customer, uh, service degradation, you know. Uh, so these are all the things we deal with in the service operations because the service is already hosted and it's running. And in this stage, we take care of everyday issues, everyday activities, processes we need to carry in order to deliver and manage services as per our customers' expectations or agreed levels or the as per the target uh, we have set in the SLA. So if you follow this stage, I mean the processes in this stage, you can have very minimal outages, um, performance issues, service degradation complaints, so it can be, you know, uh, uh, so, so this stage is very necessary in running day-to-day -day operations. And you want to, uh, you know, get the satisfaction of your customers and their confidence in the existing services which you are uh, providing. So this is the only stage where we have four functions in this stage. Which are the four functions we deal with? And these are the only four functions in the ITIL Foundation course. That's the service desk, technical management, application management, and IT operations management. Service desk is the one we are familiar with, where we, you know, in our organizations, we're looking for uh, any, you know, any help, for example, password reset, we cannot boot our system things like this. This is the service desk, which can help us in our day-to-day -day, uh, issues. And technical management is another function which deals with the infrastructure related issues. They are the experts in infrastructure. They are the custodian of all infrastructure related decisions. So if you have any uh, thing to discuss in terms of any particular hardware, software, mainframe, middleware, database, any infrastructure related um, issues. This is technical management is the function which can help you with that. The third one is the application management. It's you know about the application as the name says. So if you have issues or any questions or concerns about the functionality of a particular application, these are the people or, you know, this is the team or this is the function where you have experts who understand the details of those applications and they can provide you an expert advice on different, um, you know, functionality issues and things related to the, um, that application's function functionality. The fourth one is the IT operations management. This is the function which deals with the, inf you know, the facilities, and it also deals with the, you know, for example, uh, the uh, backup, um, console management, and uh, you know, these are the aspects. So uh, these are the four functions uh, which we have in this service operations because we need a keep the operations smooth. Uh, the another process we have in this, uh, the one, uh, the two common processes are incident management and problem management, where we deal with the day-to-day -day incidents. If you're wondering what is an incident, incident can be a disruption of service or performance degradation in service. That's, you can, that's an incident. So if you want to deal with it, you need to have this process which can guide you. What is the um, best practices, how you can resolve that incident. And what is a problem? Very similar to incident, but when you have a recursive incident, an incident which 
you know, you have again the same type of incident, you don't consider it as an incident anymore, you consider it as a problem. So problem management is another process which can find the root causes of this issue and can help you to, you know, um, resolve it. So if you have a repeating incident, you consider it as a problem and you deal with it as a problem management. Access management is another process which about the authorization as the name says access. What is authorization? Who has access to what resources? You know, in every organization, we have authorization restrictions. I cannot access HR records. Marketing department cannot access the uh, R&D department's records. So we need an authorization set up in organization. So with this process, access management, it's about rights, it's about authorization, which we can use to um, make the, um, you know, this authorization in place. The last process which we want to, which I want to discuss in this is the event management. Event management is about monitoring. You know, if there is any issue, then you may be wondering how event is different from incident and the problem. Event is a very low profile issue, can be just an informational alert. For example, the door of your uh, rack is open, your data center's door is open. It's kind of a warning or uh, an alert about informational alert, you can say. So event management can be a indicator for a future incident, but in general, it's about the informational purposes. For example, having a you know inf taking in, you know uh, for example readings from the um, smoke detectors, HVAC systems, uh, the temperature in the data center, humidity in the data center readings they can always generate these alerts and let you know if uh, 